हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल एडवोकेट अमित कुमार गुप्ता टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए केस ऑन सेक्शन 148 ए नोटिस द नेम ऑफ द केस इज कैची प्रो बिल्ड प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वर्सेस असिस्टेंट कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 448 आईटीआर एट पेज नंबर 671 द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट इन ए रिट पिटीशन एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज 17th अक्टूबर 2022 the facts of the case is like this in this particular case the department issued notice under section 148a clause b by stating that the assessee has entered into some share transactions of purchase and sale nothing more than that even the allegation on the assessee was not made that you have escaped income and what amount has escaped income the assessee submitted its reply that uh, i have taken all the purchase and sale into my computation of income in my profit and loss account and all the taxes have been duly paid but the submissions of the assessee were found not tenable by the department and the order under section 148a clause d and notice under section 148 was issued for reopening the assessment the assessee was before the writ court that the notice under section 148a clause b and the order under section 148a d is not as per the mandate of the law and it should be quashed because in the notice there is not even the allegation that for which this notice has been issued the department said that the point of the department was that like in the case of mashin d hatti private limited versus deputy commissioner of income tax the department should be given an opportunity to provide all these details to the assessee but the court made a differentiation between the two case in the case which the department was quoting that is mashin d hatti private limited in that case the notice was very specific that near about 1 crore 90 lakh the bogus transactions were there and in that case the court allowed the supplementary show cause notice under section 148a clause b but in this particular case the court said that even the notice which have been issued earlier is not specifying the amount that for which the assessee is escaping assessment so both the cases are different the court said that in that particular case the notice was specific but in this particular case even you are not uh, alleging on the assessee that what income has been escaped by the assessee so in this particular case the court quashed the order under section 148a clause d and notice under section 148 without remanding the matter uh, back to the assessing officer so in this particular case the assessee got the full relief by the court because in this case the order under section 148a clause d was not remanded back it was treated as void am issue and the department was not given the second innings to play because in this particular case the notice was only specifying that there are some purchase and sale of uh, shares by the assessee it, uh, it was not mentioning that what is the amount it was not mentioning whether the income has been escaped or not so every assessee is entering into a number of the transactions so only by mentioning that there are some banking transactions or there are some huge banking transactions your case cannot be reopened under section 148 so friends where the notices are totally blank they are not any uh, speaking any material in that case the notice under section 148 cannot be issued to the assessee and the assessment cannot be completed so the court held that this particular case is totally differentiable from the case of mashini the hatti private limited versus deputy commissioner of income tax which was uh, decided by the delhi high court in 448 itr at page number 667 because the facts of both the case are different so the court didn't appreciate it the submission of the department who was the respondent in this particular case that in this case also the matter should be remanded back because in this case the court said that the 
notice under section 148a clause b cannot be supplemented by another notice because the earlier notice was void and issue friends at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is catchy pro build private limited versus assistant commissioner of income tax thank you friends